Question 5a. Factorise 5a, take away 3a squared. So first step of factorising, we want to see if these have anything in common that they can both be divided by. So the fact that they both have a's in it means straight away you know you can divide it by a. And the fact that there's only one a in that first term means that a is the only thing that is going to come out as a common factor as far as letters go. Then we would look at our numbers. 5, 3. Both happen to be prime nothing in common, so there are no numbers that are going to come out of this. So a is the only thing that's common, a is the only thing that we're going to divide them both by. 5a divided by a is 5, that's all we'll have left over, and a negative 3a squared divided by a gives us a negative 3a. Nothing more to do other than that. Part B, B part 1, expand. 2 bracket 4 minus 3w, close bracket, means that everything inside that is going to get multiplied by 2, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times a negative 3w is a negative, or we'll take away 6w. Part 2, expand that as well. Same idea, we're going to multiply these out. w squared times, sorry, a y squared times a y gives us a y cubed. And then a y squared times a 10 is going to give us a plus 10y squared, like so. Part C, we have w equals 5.6a all over b squared. We're told what a is, we're told what b is, so all we need to do is substitute them into the formula and let the calculator do the rest. So it'll be w equals 5.6 times a, which is 1.28, divided by b squared, which is 0 0.8 squared, and that gives us 11.2. Done.